sipping on some Moscato. It's a, a peach that I just... If you're not going to be there for me when I get married, you're not going to be in my life for nothing else. Mm -hmm. Same room, oh, baby, no, no matter baby. what. You know what I'm saying? What it do, y'all? Welcome back to my channel, family. Welcome back to another Sip and Chill. Is it Sip and Chill or Sip and Keep It Real? Sip and keep it real. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Listen, that's how long we haven't did it. I'm talking about sip and chill. This is a sip and keep it real. So sip and keep it real. You have to keep it all the way real. Keep it all the way 100. And I'm drinking some Moscato that I got from Aldi in my What It Do Y'all glass. And it has strawberries, peaches, pineapples. I don't know what it is. It's, it's some more fruits in here. It's like a mixed bag of fruits or whatever. What you sipping on, baby? And I'm sipping on some Moscato. It's a, a peach that I just, you know, found, you know, that I like. You know, I ain't know I liked it. You know? All right, he got some Simply Peach, y'all. <laughs> so, <laughs> he got some Simply Peach. It ain't even Simply Peach living. It's just Simply Peach. I don't know why he go online like this. What? So, if you don't want to drink, why you be going online acting like you drinking? I just be having a cap for a minute, you know. This is simply keep it real. Man, they know why I ain't drinking no nothing. Yeah, keep it real. So anyway, Raymond had brought it up to me like a few weeks ago. Like, we haven't did a sip and keep it real in a while. And I'm like, you know what, we haven't. And he was like, well, let's update them about wedding stuff. And I was like, mm -hmm. why can't I do we updating them about wedding stuff? Like, whatever you want me to talk about. And I'm like, you know what, it is some things, I'm like, it is some things that be going on that I don't talk about because it's kind of like personal, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of don't talk about it, but I don't know, maybe Raymond want to talk about it or something, I don't know, or he want to feel y'all in on his end because he haven't, um, he haven't chimed in with y'all about the wedding stuff since when? Since, since he was doing his, um, giving his guys the Right, work. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so maybe he want to feel y'all in on his part and stuff. Yeah, I think too, like my baby, she just need an outlet, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> who better to talk to than y'all, you know? Like, sometimes just talking and getting stuff off your chest, it just kind of help, it help you breathe mm -hmm. a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Because just like moving, planning stuff could be really stressful, like, Planning big things can be mm -hmm. really stressful too. Yeah, planning um, big important things yeah. this important. I, I was just telling her earlier, like I'm a glass half full type of guy, so it takes a lot to get me rattled because I kind of try to find a blessing out of any situation, good, bad, or ugly. I try. But to I be finding blessing. the blessing like. I get, well, is that a blessing? You look at it like basically you just saw your way out of my life. Like, <laughs> that's my blessing. I look at it like, woo! Thank God you showed yourself. Like I said, even if it's something like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I try to like step back and just kind of look at things and learn from stuff and look at the blessing instead of, you know, being down and out or sad or letting it kind of like ruin my entire day like we human at the end of the day so you're gonna be irritated mad you know let some things bother you but i was always told if you love somebody that's when you get the most upset you know mm -hmm. at them and the most or hurt or yeah, i could be very sensitive if i care about you if i don't really care about you like that it ain't gonna bug me like that you know what i'm saying so what's been going on with with your side of the way and stuff what's your updates Man, we been all good. <laughs> like, what you trying to say? Man, so we been all good. I be listening to some of the stuff that my baby got going on with her uh, bridesmaid and stuff. And I be like, man, I'm glad we ain't dealing with that. You know, but no, I, you know, we took the easy route, actually. Uh, like, we had our first meeting. We had went to uh, Bubba 33. Mm. And... I I just read the room. I could tell by the conversation that every one of my groomsmen were very busy. Mm. Like me. Like, we're all very busy. Got a lot going on right now. Mm. And 
getting together, doing certain things wouldn't be hard, but getting all of us together at the same, at the time. same time and doing these things mm -hmm. would be hard. And that's when I start to get frustrated. If I want everyone together and I'm only getting three of them or four of them. But and to then me, that's my son, win. And then my son, you know, he's in another state. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. But I think like the ones that's not there, you can video them too. True. But, you know, some things, like I said, I just know me. And I want everybody there. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what? To alleviate all this pain and stress. I'm just gonna get everybody sizes, everybody information, everybody shoe size, and I'm gonna order all this stuff. And when it come in, that's when we're gonna all get together, do it. You can take your stuff, go get it altered, this, that, and that, blah, blah, blah. That's just, it was just so much easier. But I was telling him, I was stepping in on that a little bit, like, you going to get all the stuff, but then after all the things I was going through, I started to realize, like, dang, he know what he doing, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Cause Stress it's like free. you ain't gotta worry about nobody else doing it, nobody else problems, nobody else busy schedule. Yeah. It's like boom, boom, boom. You know, mm -hmm. can't nobody do it better than you. You know? Yeah. And then, but you, know, you usually don't supposed to go like that. Yeah. And then you know, like not you know, guys normally don't really be getting all attitudes and all mm -hmm. that stuff like that. But most of us, most of my guys, they know like if this is what I want, that's they gonna support that. This is how they gonna you know make it happen. But you know, you don't, you don't got to deal with like people having attitudes, different opinion. Because sometimes you could just be stuck where what you want, and somebody will bring an opinion that just irritates you. Even though you you like, dang, why I get so irritated just because they gave a suggestion? But it's just because in your head you already know like this is what I want. I don't want nobody saying nothing. Like mm -hmm. so. What what, so what's your updates on? Like tell them your updates about what, how far y'all got so far. Well, so, I took a. Uh, Sometime I have wanted to wait until the ladies got their stuff in so we can match the colors perfectly. Yeah. And finally found the perfect suits. That's when I started reaching out for everybody's sizes. We, we have a group text, so I send out the text and I said, I need y'all sizes. And of course, because I'm there, I want them right now. So someone one texted it to after I had already left the place and things like that. But once they did, I was just able to call back up there, give them the sizes, and they paid to put them together, stuff like that. But that's why you also supposed to do it like, um, not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just saying this is for other people too. Like set a date to where they have to have that stuff in or whatever, and then that's the date that you go and do everything. So well, like basically like right now, I'm texting somebody like, "What's your size?" Boom, and then you head to the store. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, what I'm saying is I'm already at the store. Just. Trying to mm -hmm. get everything. Just Once brown. I had in my head what I wanted, I'm like, all right, this is what I wanted. Now I need y'all sizes. Mm -hmm. So I can just uh, get this put aside. So if they don't have it, it gives me time to for them to order it. Or if the size you say you want, once you actually come and try it on and stuff, they can um, reorder the correct size. That's this, that, and the third if it didn't fit. Or whatever. So you got everything. Y'all guys got everything. We got everything. After that, it was about picking the shoes, and I had picked one shoe at first, and every day that I looked at that shoe, I didn't like it more. <laughs> you didn't so, tell me that. Yes, yeah, so I just took those shoes back, and I found the shoe that I showed you. Mm -hmm. And those are nice. The ones he showed me, I didn't even know he had another shoe. When I saw there was another guy looking at him, and he was like, man, I love these. He was like, they just don't have it in my side. I showed them. Oh, tell them about what was in your box. Man, so, <laughs> so yeah. So I did have to go to three different, they have three different stores, branches, whatever. And I had to go to all three of them just to get everybody correct sizes. Mm. I opened one of the boxes and it had a pair of sunglasses in it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, well, baby, look at this. So I'm like, Let and me I'm check. like, them not. I took them from him. Like these, mine. Huh? And I'm like, no, nah, these is kind of <laughs> like the ones I have been telling her I kind of wanted. You know, like a, 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 a lesser version. You know, a faker. <laughs> Wait. Version. Yeah, a faker version. You know. <laughs> so, uh, but. I put them on. She like, oh, those look nice on you. I tried them on to listen. I'm gonna be wearing them too. You know, you don't need really wrong. I'm wearing them shades. Y'all gonna see them, similar. and I'm gonna let y'all know. She got some similar to them. I told her we gonna rock them at the same time. Mine and the ones. With, listen, Raymond don't even get dressed all the time. Y'all gonna see me in them. We go on the trip. This is what I'm wearing. <laughs>
I might let me check all the boxes to see if um, it's something in there. Of course it wasn't. <laughs> so I think somebody uh, either like bought them and returned them or something, but didn't realize they had put them in there mm. when they returned them, or they was about to get them mm. and they set them in there or something. And I, I don't know, but whatever it was, I was like, thank you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, if it was, like, hundreds or thousands of dollars, I probably would have felt kind of bad about that. But... You spent so much money with them, that's like a gift. True. This is true. Now, you know what? In, in, in <laughs> some kind of way, in a, like, I feel like it was like a blessing because... I had to go to that third store, mm -hmm. like, and it's much further. And I was like, man, I, this was this was worth having to go out there. And they I, ain't gonna miss them glasses. <laughs> they don't the even know nothing about them. They don't even know they was in there, probably. <laughs> so what be going on in y'all little group texts? Y'all, what y'all be talking about? <laughs> Look at me trying to be nosy and trying to put y'all in on it too. What y'all be talking about? Man, my God, like I said, we all so busy, man. Do we talk yeah, when I send out? You be text. lying to us. When I sit on the table, that's what we talk. You know what I'm saying? And it's normally like, okay, cool. Like, that's what's up. And I'm with that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, most of the time, they just be on board with whatever I say. Mm. Mm -hmm. He ain't going to tell us, y'all. He ain't so going to let us in. Oh, yeah. Was, now it's time to get my stuff. Was able to find all of the uh, bow ties and shirts and all that stuff. And like I said, everything just been smooth. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, now I was just really like planning like, you know, the the fellas party, you know, to hang out, you know, the the shindigs, you know, that we about to That's what I'm talking about. You trying to leave us out. Ain't no leaving nothing out, too. <laughs> we just been looking for little spots and, you know, things mm -hmm. what we gonna do and mm -hmm. how we gonna mm -hmm. do it and where we gonna do it and I asked him, like, y'all going out of town? He talking about some, no, I'm like, y'all lame. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't about to do we all that. We lame too, though. We ain't going out of town. Yeah, we ain't about to do all that. <laughs> I mean, well, I'm not lame, but, you know. Mm -hmm. but, but, a lot been going on on my end as far as my bridal party. <laughs> a whole lot that I can't even really feel y'all in on. Just know, like, I'm pretty sure you know people that didn't get married before or you didn't get married before. I don't know if you had like bridesmaids and stuff like that. It been a little drunk. <laughs> if this was a ball, <laughs> this is... <laughs> it been a little drama, but from here on out, I mean, not from actually here, just step back a little bit before it's going forward. But at first or whatever, Okay, so we're going to put it like this. I had two people that dropped out. And that's that, that's basically my drama. My drama is two people dropped out. And I had covered one or whatever. Which, uh, which a bridesmaid that's already in here, I wanted her to be in here anyway. But our count was even. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't want to make it uneven I was new to it at first I never actually had a wedding you know what I'm saying so I'm like the count need to be even da, 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 da. but now the count is off so basically that's my tea and my drama the count is off and it was a little bit of drama and I'm usually not for the drama but it's my wedding you know what I'm saying I am the bride so you know that's that's my little tea, basically to sum it all up because I can't be all you know with the drama and stuff. But basically that's my tea. Two people dropped out. Our wedding is uneven, <laughs> and I'm okay with it. I'm fine with it because I'm happy now. Um, I'm okay. With it. It's just ain't even much more to say. But it's like I'm just happy about it. Yeah, and see, she's a little different than me. I'm a. Uh, I was really action. <laughs> Oh, that, oh, you was at, you were saying you be a little bit different than me. Sorry, the battery had died on the job. <laughs> yeah, I was saying I'm different. She's a little bit different than me. Like, I was really disappointed in them. I feel like they let her down. They dropped the ball, you know, and they, um, you know, they are a couple of people who I really just expected to be, you know, be there for or have her back. I mean, I, you, you, you think know. that anyway, you know what I'm saying? But 
not to say that people don't have their own situations, their own problems. People got their own stuff going on. 100%. But it's just everybody that I picked, I personally had a relationship basically my entire life. Mm -hmm. Basically. You know and, what I'm saying? You know, I, for me, it's like some things are just bigger than what you're going through. You know what I'm saying? Like... Sometimes you could be in a certain space and you'd be like, man, I'm glad I was a part of this because it's helping mm -hmm. me to see some things clearly, you know, just that I got going on. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I was thinking. Like, it's going to be problems. Stuff may happen. You know what I'm saying? People may have a disagreement. Somebody not like, might not like what somebody say. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the wedding day, it'll be all happy, tears, mm -hmm. laughing, joy. And forget about everything that you went, you know, that you that went on or that you went through. But... For instance, you know, like one of my guys, he's like working seven days, two jobs right now. And like, he's still rocking, you know, he's still with me. Every step of the way, he responding to all the text messages, you know, he he's still excited, can't wait, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sure like, it's really but that's, hard. that's right males now. versus yeah. females. I agree, you know, <laughs> I definitely agree with that, you know. And that's why like, I like, just took the route that I took, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I but, just and, didn't want no extra drama. <laughs> right. You know but saying? I feel like if I would have took the route you took, then I would have rather not had no bridesmaids and it just been us. Or just like a maid of honor or matron of honor and the best man and us mm -hmm. and call it a day. Mm -hmm. If I feel like... I'm the one got to do everything to make sure everything goes smooth. You don't need bridesmaids for that. What's the point? Just so everybody can stand up there and look cute. Just to make your wedding look like it's, you know what I'm saying? Extra over the top or you're loved when you doing everything yourself. Well, it depends on what's important to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, this was important to me. You know what I'm saying? It was important for me for this process to go smooth. Because like I said, I already got a lot going on and I don't want to add to my stress level well i feel like that too i mean the groomsman i mean not the groomsman the groom is very special but i do think like everybody make weddings about the bride 100 percent. so i feel like on my end i definitely shouldn't be doing it i'm the bride mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and y'all should be treating y'all stuff like that too you you the groom you about to get married you about to marry me mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i, I couldn't get married if you're the next, mm -hmm. so it's very, you're very special too. So y'all should, but y'all, you know, men is so much simpler. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like that don't bother them to plan they stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'm the one. I'm like, look, I'm the bride. I need to be there. I need to be catered to. I need to be this. Because other than that, if I'm doing myself, ain't nobody gonna be in my way. I think you know <laughs> something that's really is like awesome about her is like think pretty much um, all women know how important a day this is. You know, most women think about this day from, you know, the time they're a little girl, they think about being a bride, mm -hmm. they can't wait for their wedding day, you know, this, that, and that. You know, all attention is on them. And what's important to men is the, while all the eyes is on the bride, mm -hmm. her eyes is on him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's why I say it was the most disappointing because the women that's in her, you know, um, right. bridal pot party, <laughs> pop party. Uh, they all know this. You know, they all know how important this is, how serious this is, you know, the importance of making sure you get your day. Everybody you has know? their own life at the end of the day. What's important to you, don't make it important to the next person. 100%. You know, agree. You know. And that don't take away, like I said, people got their own problems and that's their problem. But I feel like if I ask you to be in my wedding and you say yes, I feel like you should know before you say yes or right after you say yes because you could, you know, go over things and be like, you know what? This ain't gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So a couple months before the wedding, if you drop out a couple months before the wedding, that means whatever you knew now, you knew before now. Unless something just like, literally just came up and hit you. You know what I'm saying? If it's not that, if it's something that been going on and you drop out a couple months before, I feel like, dang, Yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of like a slap in the face. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that soon, you know, it's like you leaving me no outs right here. Like now it's just like, 
Like you said, we have to just do it the way we do it. You know what I'm but saying? But I feel like that's the blessing to me because I feel like whoever drop out your wedding and don't want to be in it or make an excuse and act like it's for another reason, I feel like that's the blessing for me. It's like, okay, yes. If you're not, I don't want nobody standing next to me that's not extremely, genuinely happy for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, she's marrying a man of her dreams. I love Raymond. I love her. If you don't feel like that, I don't want you standing next to me. Mm -hmm. Because that's going to spread bad energy to us and our wedding, like before we even get married. Yeah. If somebody is feeling like that. So, that's the blessing to me though. I do look mm -hmm. at that like, yes. I'm glad, I'm glad you showed. <laughs> I often wonder like how you could be so much to a person, be there for them when they going through something, look out for them, you it know. It goes like that though. You know, and in <laughs> your time of need, all of that is out the window. You know what I'm saying? It's not saying that person has never done anything for you or ever looked mm -hmm. out for you, but it's mm -hmm. like in my most important moment. That's what I was telling Raymond. I'm like, out of everything I've been in life, like been through in life or will go through, this is the biggest step for us. Like getting married, that's a big step. And it's like, if you're not gonna be there for me when I get married, you're not gonna be in my life for nothing else. Mm -hmm. Because nothing else is going to top this. This is the wedding, this is the top. This mm -hmm. is the top of the top. I don't need you to have a drink. I don't need you to go out. I don't need you to sit and gossip. I don't need that. I need you for the biggest moment I'm going to and about to have in my life. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be there then? And you know, some people are just really <laughs> insensitive to what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? But they, but anybody who dropped off could be looking at me like that too. Like, I'm insensitive. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about over the umbrella. I'm talking about family, friends, everybody. About everything, like, yeah. Some people are just really insensitive to what you got going on. Like, they won't even acknowledge, like... What's going on with the wedding? Hey, how's everything going with the wedding? Mm -hmm. you know, how's like, the planning? They calling you about their agenda opposed to, man, like, I know, like, I know my friend, I know, like, what they going through right now. Let me just call and check mm -hmm. on them. Let me see what's going on with them. You but know that's why like, I told him, I was like, this is more about, I want the wedding to be about us. At the end of the day, everybody going to have their own problems. People going to feel a certain type of way. But at the end of the day, we're marrying each other. We got to be loyal to each other. We got to love each other not nobody else don't nobody else really owe us that you know what i'm saying so it's all about us at the end of the day and we're getting celebrated and you know people is coming to see our love and stuff like that but at the end of the day we gonna be in this marriage nobody else is going to be mm -hmm. in the marriage they don't supposed to be anyway you know yeah. what i'm saying so it's like whatever you know so we've been doing marriage counseling too and even uh pastor oh, he yeah. has said like you know you find one good couple and you're lucky you know like to have that you know what i'm saying so that you could just relate to hang out with you know vent to if you mm -hmm. need to so well, he said was, actually of older yeah couple. older that's been married, older that's, been married yeah, for a long yeah. time because yeah. you know they they know some of the struggles that you're going to deal with they've and, been through everything you going yeah. to go through yeah but yeah so that's kind of like my tea y'all that i haven't been feeling y'all in on i'd be like i ain't dropped the video because it was some stuff going on or some stuff came up sometimes it was like actually stuff we had like a meeting or something mm -hmm. like that or the other times it was just some drama mm -hmm. it was drama while i wasn't uploading on sundays it was drama mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, I'm speaking from, from my point of view, someone who loves this woman to death that knows, you know, her heart and knows, you know, everything, like where she's at, how much I love her, like, to see her, like, kind of go through stuff, even, like, I see when she going through stuff, even when she not trying to show that she going through mm -hmm. something. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you can tell by conversation. Like if a person keep bringing something up and they they don't even realize they keep bringing it up, you like, dang, that's bothering them. You know what I'm saying? Even when they think saying that it's not really. And that's bothering. how us women is too. When we just like to talk about it to get it off our chest. Mm -hmm. Like I just want to talk about it and it'll make me feel better. Yeah. So just and, listen. <laughs> and she just she deserves this. She deserves you know this beautiful day that we're about to have man. and I'm, I'm just like we're doing all this plan for a 30 minute it. ceremony mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so excited about it man like she deserves to be celebrated on this level you know when I see everything coming together you know men our vision is like women you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying 
And then it'd be like when we get there, we'd be like, dang. Like, like my cousin, he was he was so like shocked and stuff. I was like, yeah, Raymond went to the meetings with me, to the cake meeting, to the floor. He was like, Raymond, a different kind of dude. He was like, man, I would not want to do that, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he man, he like, I would not want to do mm -hmm. that. Raymond, a different kind of dude. I'm like, well, he went along. I'm not saying he was actually the one talking. I was the one talking, mm -hmm. and he was just like looking like oh lord more money that's how he was looking but he went along with me but i did basically all the talking until it was time for the money yeah. <laughs> but i was telling somebody at work the other day um one of the things i love about my baby man she know how hard it works she know how I begin, she know when I need to relax, she know when I need, she need to chill, she know when I need to eat something, you know, uh, and she, uh, she let him, she let a man be a man, you know what I'm saying, so, if I want to eat in the kitchen, that's what we gonna eat at, if I want to eat in the bedroom, that's what we gonna eat at. I want to eat in the man cave, that's what we, and notice I keep saying we, cause she <laughs> always makes sure we eating dinner, together talking in the same room oh, baby, no matter baby. what you know what i'm saying and it's, most of the time she'd be like baby what we eating at <laughs> i'd be like i was just we gonna eat in here you know <laughs> that's what i appreciate her about that even through all of this you know what i'm saying she still cook and clean so you know? through all that. but it's so fun i wanted to show y'all this i was telling her i had to get some i wanted to show y'all this so we had some homework to do i don't even think you did yours yet Cause it's some stuff Where over is here. Oh, I think it's over here. It's some stuff over here. Does it? it was so cool. Cool. Well, I'm just about to bring it. Uh -huh. And the last part of this homework is say. I sure didn't do mine. So the homework is, is it asks you questions. You're supposed to answer it from your point of view first, and then ask it for the other person. Answer it for the okay, other person. Okay, I'm glad you just said that. And uh, it says. Do you burp? <laughs> and I said, I said yes. And I put a yes for her too. And it's something that like, I never heard her really do. I thought we supposed to ask each other the question. Until, uh, you know, we got really, really serious. Hmm? Like I said, it's just about knowing you're me. You know what I'm saying? But no, baby, I thought we were supposed to ask each other the question. Like, I answer my answer and then ask you and then, no? So the answer. Oh, I'm answering for me and you. Yeah, you um, answer okay. for me, and then you answer for that other person. And you see how it all comes. See, together. I didn't even know. I'm glad I didn't do it. Like I didn't know. That. I then thought we're I supposed was... to come together and talk about it. So oh. it's 20 questions. I answered all mine already, and she ain't even started. Why are you talking? I was on the on the page 37 reading the book. Where you at? Like page 45. You ain't capping. He capping again. First it was about the Moscato that you capping. And if you will, if you is, that's because you're listening to it, and I'm reading. I, I don't listen to it a lot too. We was reading the book. Um, men are from Mars. Women are from Jupiter. That's the book. I'm Venus. Of oh, Jupiter. What did I say? Did I say Jupiter? Men are from Mars. Women are from Venus. <laughs> women is women. We from we from all over. We from there too, so <laughs> it gotta be the <laughs> it gotta be the Moscato. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, from yeah, Mars, yeah, 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 Filling y'all in <laughs> on the wind stuff. You know, we can't get too deep and ghetto with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but everything is going awesome. The, yeah, like the, the planning and everything. Planning, everything is vendors, good. Like, everything is everything good. good. Everything is good. Everything is taken care of. <laughs> uh, I think we got, maybe it's what? Do we got anything else we got to order? I don't think so. And then I that's, go for my dress size and, and a couple more weeks. Man, let me tell y'all something too. Y'all watch her uh, last self care video. Man, the part where she was opening the gift, the thing that came for the wedding. Oh yeah. I was watching I the video cry. and watching her like her excitement about that. Like to, for me, that's what it's all about. That's what makes it all worth it. And any woman can relate to that moment. And mm -hmm. any man who's in love with a woman mm -hmm. can. I mean, it's just like. Priceless. I was it's so like, excited. Like, 
Mm -hmm. I was excited. Anyway, of course, y'all will see the wedding like afterwards and stuff because we actually want to get it filmed and stuff like that. So it's gonna be a video or whatever, and y'all will be able to see. And then I'm gonna be doing a little behind the scenes stuff, just a little bit because you know the day is about me. I need to, you know. But I'm gonna do a behind the scenes stuff with my bridal party and stuff like that. And I don't know, he might get some or his fellas might record, you know, just to get like a little behind the scenes stuff mm -hmm. of us getting ready and going there or whatever we're gonna get some type of footage for y'all mm -hmm. if if it's a snippet we're gonna get something mm -hmm. but yeah i think we're about to end this video off now because that was that was our updates i mean yeah that was it you know as far as the updates with me as far as my ladies um y'all already know they got their dresses and stuff like that and i go for my um alterations and stuff like in a few more weeks by the way what is today it's May now, so so about two more weeks I go for my um, alterations and stuff. So yeah, that's the update for us. We everything else, y'all just saw everything, all the updates about me. But I just wanted to fill y'all in on Raymond Park, my drama part, where I was at on Sundays, stuff like that. So make sure y'all smash the like button, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that post notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I drop videos. But for now, your girl is out. Wait, not Raymond ripening his mouth. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt is because I was drinking. What it do, y'all? That dizzy head over here. I have to crack my neck. <laughs>